Wow! That funeral was a pretty impressive affair. You must be a very wealthy family. Are you the girl who suddenly asked me for my number at the funeral? What's your name? What relationship did you have with my husband? Were you a colleague? Did you know him well? I'm Carly Lane, and I have some news for you. Your husband and I were bound together by love. We've been having an affair for the last three years. He was such a wonderful man and an amazing lover. I loved him so much. I will really miss him. Carly Lane? I never heard of you. You had an affair with my husband? Are you for real? William kept saying he wanted to leave his wife. He was so unhappy in his marriage. I told him to split up with you and come and live with me. We had big plans. When I met you earlier, I got the impression that you were a lot younger than him. I'm sorry, but I find it hard to believe he was going out with a slip of a girl like you. I just can't believe it. William was 47, for goodness sake. You? You look as if you're in your early 20s. What are you? 22? 23? I'm 24, actually. And old enough to fall in love with whoever I like. Love knows no bounds. It doesn't care about your age or status or how much money is in your bank account. It enriches your life in more ways than anyone can ever express in words. I felt strongly connected to William from the moment I looked into his eyes. I was drawn to his soul in a way I'd never experienced before. Oh my, that's so romantic. Where did you cut and paste it from? Off a cereal packet? Hey, you don't know nothing about love. You look like you only just turned dirty yourself. You're no different from me. Obviously, William liked younger women. I look young for my age. Little girl, read my lips. Don't whitewash me. I don't believe you were having an affair with him one iota. Where's your proof? Any photos? Any letters? I can't believe anything you say. William was a good man. He was a good husband. He wouldn't cheat on me. I have all the proof I need growing right here in my belly. A baby? William's baby? Hardly. I don't believe you. <laughs> it is definitely your husband's baby. William's and mine. And this baby has a right to a part of your husband's estate. He said he's going to leave money for us in his last will and testament. He said he'd see me all right. You mark my words. This is so laughable. It's so obvious you're making it up. You're just a gold-digging call girl. You want to get what you can get out of my dead husband? You didn't even have an affair with him. I'll bet you never even met him. I did. You'll see. I only have to do a DNA test to prove this baby is William's. Why don't you come with me? I'll show you whose baby it is. I ain't hiding nothing. I'm going nowhere. I'm stopping right here in this little town and I'm telling everyone this baby's daddy was William Bell. He got a good name. My baby is his heritage. Oh my God. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say to you. When we find out the truth of all those ladies doing IVF, step aside. What are you babbling about now? Are you a klutz or what? I am giving birth to the future Mr. Bell, son of William Bell. My son. He'll take on your William's family name. He'll run your family's estate. Step aside, lady. You're nothing. Here is William's trophy wife who couldn't give him a son even though she tried. Get out of here. You're going to have to move out of that mansion to make way. If it's true, I will gladly step aside and allow you to take over. But you haven't taken a test yet. We don't know if it's really William's baby. You might be having me on. You might just be some gold digger. You could be anyone. I want rock-solid proof before I decide anything. You 
wouldn't know nothing. You ain't never been pregnant. I know you going through that IVF treatment. Day in, day out, and you never got pregnant. So you wouldn't know. How do I know? Well, I just know that the baby in my belly is William's baby. I can feel it. I have a mother's sense. But you wouldn't know about that, would you? How much money did William leave to his little baby anyway? How much savings did he have? How much is in his will? I bet William's got millions dashed away in the bank. I'll bet he has stocks and shares too. Damn, this baby's future will be so secure. There must be a mountain of assets left behind. You're not thinking of keeping it all to yourself, are you? At this point in time, I am the only person who will inherit his estate. There is no one else named in his will. I am his lawful wedded wife. It's written down on paper. I have a marriage certificate. It's inevitable that it will all come to me. You're just a greedy, stinking IVF girl. It's not being greedy. It's what the law says. And what the law says, I follow. I uphold the law. Do you know the law, lady? Do you know the law says half your inheritance will go to my baby? It's my baby's entitlement. William was his daddy. That's if it's true, little girl. I still don't have proof. If it's my husband's child, then yes, you are entitled to something. We will see when the baby is born and you do the DNA test. I can't wait for the result. <laughs> oh, you know nothing. This is why I don't like ignorant people. Law says that even unborn children can inherit an estate. A fetus has rights too. I wasn't aware of that. I will have to do my research, won't I? I heard that the fetus is only exceptionally entitled to the right of inheritance by state law. The estate will be looked after by a custodian until the child becomes legal age. That custodian is me, because I am the baby's mom. That's the first I heard about that. I thought the only right a fetus had was the right to life. I told you, it's state law. Therefore, my baby has a right. He is entitled to William's money and assets. Now, don't you be agonizing. You just give me that money. You just step aside. The funeral is only just over. William's body is barely cold. I still have not had a chance to speak to the lawyer. Okay, I'll wait. I got the time. And don't try to fiddle it. I want my half. You hear me? Hey, IVF lady. You trying to monopolize that inheritance behind my back? I still have no idea what you're talking about, little girl. You sold that mansion behind my back. There ain't no sign of anyone living there. There are all sorts of contractors hanging around. I saw estate agents. You got no right to do that. That house is my baby's house by right. You just gonna get rid of that property on your own and run away with the money from the sale? It's too big for one person to live there. Don't sell it. I will move in today. I already decided who I'm gonna give it to. And it ain't you. So get the hell out of here. You can't do that. Cancel it. Cancel it now. Do it right now. Impossible. It's already going through. Can't stop it now. All signed up. That mansion is the birthright and inheritance of mine and William's baby. Didn't I say that we decide that after the baby's born? There'll be a DNA test, right? There. I'm all moved in. What? What are you talking about? Little girl? This mansion is so spacious. But it's a bit old and shabby. Everything's worn out. How did you get in? You ain't got a key. That's breaking and entering. I'm gonna call the cops. I just kicked the door a little bit and it opened. What the hell are you doing? Well, I only got one suitcase. It didn't take me long to move. I'll have to spruce it up a bit. It needs a reform or a remodel or redecoration. No, absolutely not. I'm warning you. Don't do anything. 
That's not your property. I think the walls could do with a lick or two of paint. Magnolia would be nice. I'll call the contractors in this afternoon, then. They can do it on the spot. Hey, little girl, are you listening to me? Have you heard what I said? Another person is having it. I already sold up. I told you already. Don't you touch that mansion. Get out now. You have the money? Why don't you just buy it back? It's out of my hands now. Don't you know? I am just staking a claim on my child's birthright. I am a long way from home. I can't get there right away. I'm asking you nicely now. Please get out of that mansion now. It's mine now. I can do as I please. It is not yours. Do you hear me, little girl? Oh, that's right. It's not my mansion. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. It's my baby's mansion. I'm sending someone over right now. You better be getting ready to move out or you'll be in big trouble. What is the meaning of this? This place is swarming with people. There are a bunch of cops here. Don't you know squatting is a police matter? It's against the law. What are you talking about? Didn't you know that mansion is a local cultural asset? I handed it over to the city. As a donation. What a waste of a decent property. They're going to turn it into a memorial museum. They're going to show my husband's collection of paintings and artifacts. It's decided. You can't do anything about it. You can't do that without my permission. Without my baby's permission. Little girl, I don't need your permission or your baby's. That mansion has got a lot of historical value. My husband, William, he always said he wanted to preserve it for future generations. And besides, even if I had a piece of art, I'd still be able to show it. Why don't you just sell it? There's a lot of money to be made. My husband was not collecting to sell. I don't understand how these rich people think. Okay, just give me the cash. Then I'll give up on the mansion. Just give it to me now. Okay, little lady. I think you've had your fun. Isn't it time to stop now? And this is all a lie, isn't it? It's the truth. I got appointment cards from the midwife. I got photos of the ultrasound I got on the proof you need that I'm pregnant, lady. Okay. If it's true you're pregnant, it absolutely can't be true that it's my husband's baby. It's a total lie. It's no lie, lady. It is, without a doubt, Williams. Little girl, how many months are you gone? Just five months. Well, that is a strange fact. Why'd you say that? My William was in a coma for three years before he died. That's a lie. My William was a PVS. Do you know what that is? Persistent vegetative state. He couldn't communicate with anyone. He couldn't get up and walk out that door even. There's no way he could cheat on me or impregnate you. Unless his spirit got up and walked out of his body, there is. There is no way in heaven's earth that he can be your baby's daddy. End of story. What do you mean? I'm asking you the same question. It's a lie. Which part? You said he's in a persistent vegetative state. That's a lie. Little girl, it ain't no lie. You take yourself off down to that hospital and find out. Go ask the doctor. He'll tell you. So who was the guy that I fell in love with? Your guess is as good as mine. I was working as a waitress in a cocktail bar when I met him. It was about a year ago. He told me he lived in this here mansion and his name was William Bell. Oh, don't say it's that guy again. What guy? There was a rumor about this guy playing with girls under the guise of pretending to be my husband. There is not a soul around here who doesn't know my husband's name. So it seems like he started flashing his money around. I guess they'd start flocking around him. Don't say I've been taken in by a fake. Oh, why am I so gullible? There was a rumor going around that he didn't have long to live. So I'm sure that guy used it to his advantage to seduce you. 
So I was just dating some old guy. Yeah, I think he's on welfare or something. No way. My husband didn't go out much anyway. He didn't really like drinking. It wasn't his style. And he wasn't really the kind of guy to have an affair. Or play around with women. Since he wasn't conscious, it would be impossible for him to even think about how. Having children. From the start, I thought it was a strange story that you were telling. So I just got pregnant by some old guy on welfare. Oh my god, this is such a dreadful thing to happen to me! What am I going to do? So it is true that you got pregnant. Congratulations. You're gonna have a baby. That's good news, isn't it? This is no joke. It's no laughing matter. I thought that if I had this baby, I would get William's inheritance for it. That's why I made up my mind to have it. Oh my god, I was so stupid. Well, that's your problem. It has nothing to do with me. Oh my god! That is disgusting! He was a fake! I thought I could put up with his stinky feet because he was rich. He's just a poor dude! Oh my god, I can't stand the thought of that man's baby in my belly. I don't want to give birth. I don't want to have his baby. That's a terrible thing to say. I can't believe you'd say that about the little life growing in your belly. I just tried to call him, but the number says it's not in service. Oh, I've been such a fool. You won't find him now. Looks as if he's run out on you. He'll be out of state by now. That scoundrel. I just have one question that's been bothering me. You were at the funeral, weren't you? I was there. I didn't get involved, though. I stood at the back. At the time, his picture was on display. You didn't realize it was a different person from your man? I didn't see any pictures or anything of the deceased. Like I said, I stood at the back. The whole purpose of me being there was to get your number. I didn't see anything else. I wasn't interested in anything else. That was a bit wicked, wasn't it? So anyway, are you the sole beneficiary of your husband's estate? No, I'm not actually. There are two of us now. Two of us? You are not such a bad person after all, are you? You are such a sweetheart. So generous of you not leaving me to bring up my child alone to wallow in misery and self-pity. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not sure what you are talking about. You said that you were going to split your husband's estate. I assumed you meant me. No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. I'll split it with our son. You have a child? How on earth did you have a child with your husband? You said he was in a coma for three years. In vitro fertilization. So the IVF finally worked? We tried for a long time to have our own child, but it just never seemed to happen for us. So we were going through a course of IVF treatments around the time of his accident. My husband's sperm was frozen and I was trying for a baby all the while he was in a coma. You're actually pregnant. I got confirmation at the hospital today. I am so thrilled. William would have been over the moon. He really wanted a baby. That's why you are out of town today. I'm having treatment in the city with a well-known infertility doctor. So there is no hope for me? Listen, in the first place, there is absolutely no relationship between you and my family. Neither me nor my recently deceased husband. There is no necessity for me to give away my inheritance. You have no claim whatsoever to my husband's estate. But you have so much money! More than you have a use for, I'm sure. Enough for me to be able to afford to live quite nicely for the rest of my life. That's not even beginning to count the real estate and land. Just give me $10,000. I won't ask for any more. I'll go away and leave you alone. Why should I? It's small change for you. Pocket money! Look at me. I have no money, no place to live, and I am pregnant just like you. Don't you pity me? I don't know. I guess that's what it means to get what you deserve. I don't really feel sorry for you. I didn't think you'd be so cold. I mustn't waste the precious money that my husband worked so hard for. He entrusted it to me. I have to carry out his will, not yours. It wouldn't be a waste. You'd be helping someone in need. 
if I'm going to help someone, there are a lot more people in the world who deserve it more than you. I will make my contributions to those charitable funds that I choose. You stingy cow! In case you forgot, I am in the middle of doing something. You broke into our mansion, didn't you? I heard the door had been forced open with a crowbar. The wood needs replacing. It's a cultural asset. Therefore, the kind of wood I can use to replace it is limited and it is going to be very expensive to replace. Oh no. Oh my god! I found your name and address in the book you signed at the funeral. I have informed the police and the city hall. You're not going to sue me, are you? I can't believe you filled out the visitor's book at the funeral. You must be a very disciplined person. I thought you would need a contact number and address to send me what I was due from your husband's estate. We needed it after all, didn't we? <laughs> I'm pregnant. I have no money. I don't want to get arrested. I don't know why you are telling me. I'm sure you can explain everything to the police. You cold-blooded woman! Have a heart! What would you do if you were suddenly approached by a stranger on the street and asked for $10,000? It's different. That is exactly what you have been doing to me. You evil piece of work! I am busy moving home right now. Moving? Before my husband's accident, he built a house for us in the country. It's still there. I'm moving there. It's too big for one person. But now I have a child on the way, I will need a large garden. So I decided to move in. You are disgustingly rich. It's not fair. I live a frugal life, so I don't lose money. I look after my money and don't overspend. I hope that you will do that too. It's frightening how this isn't sarcasm. Your honesty terrifies me. Well, farewell. Nice to meet you. It's not fair! I read in the news that Carly was arrested for causing unlawful damage to property. It's hard for a pregnant woman. My lawyer told me she would probably just have to pay a fine. It would cost more to pay for the repairs to the front door. There are only a limited number of places that specialize in that kind of work. It is estimated that it will cost at least $15,000 without labor. What on earth was she thinking when she has the birth of her child to pay for? But there are plenty of women these days who put their children into daycare and go out to work without complaint. Oh yes, the fake William Bell who gifted Carly with her child was caught and charged on a number of counts of deception. He had been using the names of a number of wealthy men and women to swindle people out of their money. That little girl Carly just happened to be the kind of girl fake William Bell was attracted to. And so he didn't swindle her out of any money. She was certainly very pretty. I hope that one day she finds happiness. I will do my very best to love, protect, and care for the number one asset my husband left for me. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press the like button. Don't forget to leave a comment below. See you next time.